Filipinos don't believe in mental health. They just pray for the problems to go away. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Nadine Lustre and today we're going to be reading hot takes on the Philippine beauty standard, the environment and mental health from this table. I'm nervous. <laughs> Darker skin is not beautiful. I do not agree with this. I think when I was about 13, people would say that I was too dark. When I would go to auditions, or they would only cast girls who are mestiza or um, have lighter skin. It became an insecurity of mine, and I really went to like the whole thing where you do gluta. You use like whitening soap, you scrub calamansi on your body or lemon. As I grew up, I learned to just love the skin that I'm in and to just appreciate the beauty that I have. When I traveled to France, people really had liked my skin color. They would always say that, Bam, I wish like, I could get like your tan. People just like what they don't have. Filipinos don't believe in mental health. They just pray for the problems to go away. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, when I was going through it in my like teen years, in, in some way, I kind of prayed for it, for it to go away because I didn't really know how to handle it. And it's still kind of taboo. When I was challenged with my mental health after my brother had passed away, I kid you not, someone really told, because I asked for a break from work. Someone told me that like, it's okay, when you get back to work, it's gonna go away. So, and that's kind of like, that triggered me a bit just because I know that it wasn't go, gonna go away like that. I know that it's something I had to deal with, but people are becoming more aware. There are a lot of articles about it. There's a lot of like, Podcast. I'm also working on an app uh, that gives, you know, uh, services for mental health. Ah, it's more convenient to not care about the environment. It's not really about the convenience. And I hike a lot. And I notice this every time, like there's so much trash that's just, you know, that's just on the ground and no one really takes action. It's always the last thing in their minds because people are trying to survive. There's also a lack of education. When Vogue did the Masungi cover, it was good because it highlighted people who are environmentalists, and that's rare. We're friends with Billy and Anne of Masungi, and we contribute what we can to the environment. So we kind of always talk about it, but on a normal like conversation with other friends, it's not something that we talk about. We don't really discuss about like the climate change. I'm glad that it's slowly injecting itself into I guess the consciousness of a lot of people and a lot of people are slowly becoming more mindful and more um, eco-conscious with their decisions and, and that's a good thing. Oh, Filipinos glorify unrealistic Western beauty standards. I mean, that's that's very true. It's probably because of um, we're, we're colonized for a very long time. We've been conditioned to like uh, things that are not ours because we think that that's, you know, that's like better than what we have. We're Kayumangi. Um, we're all dark skinned. Our facial features are not very prominent as well. Um, and honestly, I find that beautiful. Uh, <laughs> women have an age limit in the entertainment industry. I mean, things have changed. Uh, but yeah, I do understand that before, you know, the younger, the better. And it's not just for women, I guess it goes for like the men as well. I had a conversation with someone about this. It's one of the people in, in the industry that I've worked with. He did say that, you know, when you're younger, you have to already like make a name for yourself. You have to do this and that because as soon as you, as soon as you're over 30, if you haven't made a mark in the industry, you're never going to get it. And I honestly didn't believe in that. I do believe that you can be successful in the line of your career at any age. This is the timing that was made specifically for you. It could just be that you weren't ready to be in this spot back then, but now you are. So now this, like everything that you have hoped for, everything that you wanted for your career is being given to you now because now you're ready. Probably you weren't ready back then, but now you are. So like that's why like I don't I don't really believe in, in age limits. I believe in the divine timing. Filipinos tolerate the LGBTQ plus community, but don't fully accept it. Yeah, I feel like in a way it's true. So a lot of people are fully accepting it, but I just don't like how. I mean, this is mainly for I guess the the older generation. I've just been hearing stories from you know 
my friends who are part of the community as a way to degrade people like why are you dressed why are you dressing like that are you are you gay bakla ka ba or why are you acting a certain way you know it's i just don't like how we're still in that oh business is a man's world no no i mean there's a lot of successful business women out there knowing how everything works and knowing how to maneuver yourself in the business world just that's it i'm not going to add to that because that's that's pretty much my answer so no i do not fit into the philippine beauty standard i mean if i don't look filipina what do i look like no i i i do fit that philippine beauty standard because the philippine beauty standard is what filipinos look like the beauty of of the filipinos you know and that's something that i'm very proud of Thank you guys for watching that. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tabo Takes. I do have a lot of projects coming out soon, so if you want to keep up, you know where to find me. Again, this is Nadine. See you guys soon.